With the holidays coming up, and specifically Halloween, I want to decorate my gaming setup accordingly. It can be super rewarding to decorate your gaming setups, or even just areas around your home on the holidays. So, in this video, I'm going to be revamping my gaming setup all themed around Halloween. So, let's dive right into the video. So, as you guys can see, this is my current gaming setup. And while for the most part it looks actually good, there's a couple things that it's missing. Not necessarily missing just to have a good setup, but missing because the date is... So like you heard in the intro, we're gonna be adding some more decoration, gonna be redoing it all so it looks good for Halloween. And I'm gonna be challenging myself to do it with no money and only use stuff I have around my room and you know, in my closet. One of the first steps that will always be the easiest is just adding more Halloween decoration. So if I enter here, oh God, don't mind the clothes. We luckily got Halloween up top. So we're gonna be grabbing all this cobweb stuff uh, and it really doesn't look like a lot, but trust me guys, this stuff stretches very far. Get that ready. And then if we peek in here, we got, of course, our spider. We're gonna be adding that. Let's see if this book got anything else in it. Nope. I'm seeing this over here. It's a bowl of these witch fingers. I think this could look pretty good. I noticed this off the floor. It's kind of like a Halloween-ish book, but uh, I guess maybe we can do something with it. At this point, I'm just looking for anything orange. So, you know, maybe we'll grab my Crocs. We can display them out somewhere. We got this from under the... <laughs> got my uh, Nerf gun Halloween strap. And I was looking for it and it's trying to hide from me, but if we go all the way back here, I'm gonna pull out our pumpkin. This stuff obviously hasn't been touched since last Halloween. So, you know, we gotta go in the deep depths to find it. So as the title of the video says, we're gonna be redoing the setup. You know, I kinda wanna do both of my setups. So I might as well just really clean this up as well. This was from the last video. So of course we're not gonna be needing this on the Xbox setup. Same goes here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up the setup real quick. And then from there we'll move on. All right guys, now with everything actually off of the desk, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the decorations. And I'm thinking we start simple. We literally go ahead and we take this big spider and I always like putting them right there. Just kind of like peering down on everything like a little, little crazy spider. Take this keyboard off and we all know what that's gonna need. I wanna actually implement the pumpkin here without like having to cover the monitor, but I think it's gonna be kinda of tough. So I might kinda of come up with some ideas here. All right, so that was the best I could come up with kinda of right in the corner. And I don't I don't think it's actually too bad because like if we sit down, it's not really in the way at all. Get that mouse bungee wrapped up in it a little bit. There. And of course we can't have a green plant for Halloween. I say we get these bowl of fingers. The lamb right there. I don't actually think I like the look of that. I think I'll probably put this over here. Honestly, I just noticed it down here, but this orange Nike box honestly could work. And if these dimensions are correct. Oh, wow. That's that's like, wow. I don't know. Eh, a little clunky. To be honest, I say we just go across that with some of the cobweb. So we got to take some of this cobweb and just get it all ready like some dough. We just place this across everything. Probably get some more. Yeah, look a little more realistic. There we go. Also, I think a really, really cool way to actually use this cobweb is going to be to wrap it around that cable right there so it kind of looks like it's coming down. I think that's really, really clean and it covers up that cable so good. I'm going to try to do something similar on this cable and then we can kind of see what happens. And that just looks so much better. All right, let's take a break from this set for a second. Let's more focus on this setup. I kind of thought of a cool idea I could use for the box where I was going to go ahead, open the box, and then put some fingers in here and like kind of have it spilling out. Kind of like this. It's like a little messy something, something where it has it opened up with all these fingers out. I think, I think it's kind of cool. I can rock with it for the time being. Then to be honest, I think we could just add some cobweb on the top of the TV and make it look clean. Also right there a little bit too. Just so you guys know, you can get like a ton of this for cheap, but uh, keep in mind when I got the spiders in, I ordered like a separate pack of spiders and then put them all in there. Also after having it for so long, it's getting kind of hard to separate it. Like I really gotta... Like I'm sitting here like grinding to get this thing out, you feel me? And I'm gonna lay another piece right there. And there we go, kind of get that all spread out, leaving it pretty clean. I think I kind of emphasize this a little bit more, so I might end up like doing something like that, or if I can get a little more, maybe like, then I'll just take this extra piece and just lay it across the top, probably like, just like that. Alrighty, I think that's enough cobwebs for this part of it, and let's just see what else we got to move into the room. To be honest, this isn't nothing too crazy. I'm not even sure what I could do with it. Maybe just like, 
Seriously though, I could probably just put it like right here or something, you know? It's the, it's just, it's just like a little detail that, you know, if you actually look at it, it can be pretty cool. These are my last two decorations since to be honest, they're kind of like outliers because I'm not really gonna do with these. Boom, look at that. Then you get this big old Nerf gun. What I'm probably gonna do is I think I can do something cool like right here. Like what I can do is just lean it up against there like that, make sure it don't fall over and then just sneak these guys back. That's honestly kind of clean, I like that. Also guys, I literally don't even know how I forgot this, but but I got some tombstones ready to use. I was thinking about adding them like down there, down there, but I honestly think right there would be really clean. And honestly, the second one, I'm thinking like maybe behind this setup and kind of put it in the corner. All right guys, so we're looking pretty good so far, but one thing I'm sure you guys have been considering and you've been like, uh, what are you doing? Why is the setup still purple? So we're gonna go ahead and load up that wallpaper engine. And what I'll probably do is go ahead and look for something that's kind of like orange and black. That's a little bit overkill. I'm gonna look up. All right, so I found this one and this is really, really clean and it could go with that purple because I don't think I can actually change the color of the AIO cooler, but I'll keep scrolling and see what else I find. I opted for this main one for the monitor and then I had this one for the secondary, which I thought was really, really clean. So let me know what you guys think of this wallpaper combo and rate it one to 10 in the comments. But besides the actual wallpaper, of course we have to change the PC LED. So we're gonna go ahead and have to click here until we get the desired color. Orange might not even be available. All right, this is the best I'm gonna be able to come up with. It's like a pulsing reddish orange. So hopefully that'll uh, satisfy everybody. Then we gotta go ahead and hop over to IQ and change the color of the RAM. Then for the RAM colors, I'm gonna go ahead and do like a start with that deep red and then alternate into like this kind of darkish. Oh, let's just do the all button and then uh, all sticks are gonna be changed in a few seconds. Then boom. And now we're just gonna go ahead and go here and tap change the color of the boom arm. So we'll have that orange and then the red mic just to kind of go with the orange red of the PC. Then also Pete, boom, we got that orange going on in the background. Also gotta whip this thing up real quick. And then boom, I got the colors of the Apex Pro all fixed up just by going here like that. And then I can go actually profiles and then uh, yeah, change all these. So this keyboard's actually so far because it has presets of all those colors you can use and you don't even have to make your own if you don't want to, but you can if you want. All right, so we have every peripheral looking orange and red. So I think we have to get to go over here, turn some colors on and uh, see what the final product looks like. Of course, I can't forget my LEDs on back here. Just toss them Johns on. Then as you can see here, I got this red orange mix going on to kind of have that blend of colors on the top. So yeah, I should be done decorating everything with zero dollars and only using stuff in my room. If you like the transformation, please be sure to drop a like, maybe drop a sub if you like the other content and be sure to rate it one out of 10 in the comment section. All right, and without any further ado, let's reveal the final product. Yeah, we from the north, baby, the cold made me. I know you can't get enough of me, but not lately. Took you down inside my old Honda, you upgraded. Won't leave my ass alone, but I can't give you love, baby. It's just for the night, I won't see you tomorrow Me and Gaiman sipping something strong for these sorrows I work as long as it takes, bitch, I won't borrow My last to made me a mess and left me hollow So now my heart's in my body back